What's up everybody? Ayun, kakatapos lang nung ano natin, uh, reaction natin dun sa super super astig na music video ni uh, Philip dun sa Bulan. So ngayon, papanoorin natin yung kay Casual Chuck. Kasi gusto ko malaman yung behind uh, meaning nung buong story nung Bulan kasi wala tayong idea talaga. So maganda rin to, uh, malalaman natin yung ibang uh, parang anong tawag dito mga mythology sabi nila kasi may mga nabasa ako myth and mythology ng ibang lugar like ibang place sa atin sa Pilipinas kasi ang alam lang natin normally yung sa ating probinsya so kasi hindi naman inaano yan din sa sa, sa school ba diba? hindi na i, ituturo kung hindi ka naman doon nakatira and of course guys before we watch the video mag shout out muna tayo A shout out muna tayo alright medyo marami to hindi natin uh, babasahin lahat i-save natin sa ibang araw okay so start tayo with, with uh, Kinsley uh, Zyra Mendez yung iba dito repeater eh taas natin yan Pearl Sarto Sheila May Mace Bien Kati Galindo Shauren that's a Chinese name Ven Zuan JSB Marco Palagio Charlene Soriano Lin Suzon Charlene yan and Meg Tanige at Tadige Tadige Tanige tuloy ano pa ba si Lychee Sweet uh, Lim C. Tuazon ayan si Mads yan nabanggit ko na and yung iba tomorrow na uh, last si Maribel Emigel saka si Mary Glow Cello okay so let's start the world is full of mystery this is where I am this is the island of Palawan. What's interesting is that it's shaped like a sea dragon with its mouth wide open. Hey, What's yeah. more interesting is the island right next to it. Yep, it's a crescent shape, just like the moon. So does this mm. prove the legend of the Bakunawa? Or is it just a bunch of air in my gut? Logo <laughs> <laughs> The Philippines is a country Uy, rich serioso. in tradition and our ancient folklore isn't something to be undervalued. Unfortunately, the rise of social media has made our younger generations clueless about it. Yes. Something has to happen to make it better. And what else is better than Philippe's latest banger as the reminder? Oh, three. Ito maganda. May warning yung commercial. May yep. 4. Siguro yung mga ibang commercial hindi lang natin napapansin kasi yung maliit yung ano yung 3, 2, 1, di ba? Or talagang biglaan lang. So wait natin yan. Ay, ihihim muna ako. Kasi dalawa tong commercial nato. May 4, 2022. Philippe announced this. 18 were like, Uy, gato kuya, may karan! Uy, gato kuya! Hindi ready. Kuya naman eh! Hindi pa naman ako ready! O, hindi pa rin. Hahaha! It was plain obvious that the next song is going to be based on Filipino mythology. Oh. But doesn't it feel like deja vu? It makes me want to say, I think I've seen this film before. SB19 has definitely done this many times. Just take a look at Mana. It's a song based on a mythical creature called Mana Nangal that flies at night to hunt humans and leaves its lower body in a safe place. This cleverly became their metaphor for humbleness because they are performers who seek great heights when it comes to musical success but they always keep their Grabe, feet no? on the May ground. Meaning what about what? What? It's the Ay. song where they mention the Iron Maiden. <laughs> an ancient torture method that puts a person in a standing sarcophagus full of metal blades inside. Yeah, it might be simple that's what first, I'm thinking. But if you get locked for, into it for days, to, you'd end up falling asleep to only to wake up to over wow, and over again to the pain of blades piercing your body until you give up and end up killing yourself when you couldn't stand anymore. Once again, their collective inventiveness made such a horrifying thing a symbol of real life trials. Enter Pablo. <laughs> Yeah. 
This song talks about the two lives of a werewolf which creatively depicted the story of converting self-doubt into acceptance and self-love. Oh. But all of these things were nothing compared to this power of manifestation. Just take a listen to this line. Josh Loki predicted Philippe's second single. Philippines! Oh. In Philippine mythology, the Bakunawa is a dragon that swallows oh. the moon and causes eclipses. The legend of the Bakunawa started way, way back, even before the colonial period. The word was even listed in the Visayan Spanish Dictionary, which is a direct translation of the eclipse of the moon. Oh. Once upon a time, Bathala created seven moon deities with the purpose to light up each night of the week. They were Subang, Banilig, Banolor, Bayari, Libulan, Bulan, and Halia. During the nighttime, Bulan, together with his siblings, Mayroon sometimes comes subtitle. down to the air to ease their boredom. Different birds would flock, and reclusive mermaids would surface together and become friendly with the animals to appreciate the siblings' unparalleled beauty and alluring presence. From the dark corners of the deep, the Bakunawa saw their majestic light, which immediately made the dragon obsessed to possess one of them. Mm. So it decided to emerge and succeeded in swallowing Subang in one gulp. The Bakunawa returned to the deep as it felt warm and its domain shined with the brightness of Subang's light. But it only lasted temporarily because the moon gradually melted in its gut. This frustrated the Bakunawa, so it flew to the sky to devour yet another moon. Halia was his target this time because her radiant light was just irresistible. But her twin brothers Banilig and Banolor defended her, so they ended up getting swallowed instead. Mm. The serpent then retreated again to enjoy his spoils. This scared the heck out of the remaining siblings, so Libulan got himself rescued by his suitor Sidapa, the god of death who fell in love with him despite knowing they have the same gender. Mayari also left for the purpose of challenging Apulakai, the sun god, Apulakai. to rule over the earth, but she one. would then be defeated, resulting in her losing an eye, so she would end up settling down by marrying a mortal man who would become the country's first shaman. Mm. Interesting stories for sure, but it's for another video. Daddy, chill. Anyway, after a few nights, the obsession of the Bakunawa took a turn for the worse as the two moons melted in its stomach yet again. Mm. At this point, only two moons remain, Bulan and Halia. Oh. The Bakunawa aimed for Halia, but Bulan defended her, so he ended up getting swallowed instead. In desperation to save Bulan, Halia mustered the light of the stars, which conjured a magic sword that she used to strike the Bakunawa. She managed to hurt the dragon, which resulted in spitting out Bulan. But he was no longer a god. He became a mere young mortal boy. Aliyah saw this as an opportunity to keep Bulan safe, so she continued to defend herself from the Bakunawa by using her sword for as long as she could. She became a capable warrior and started to cover her face to grieve for his lost brothers and hide her ravishing beauty. Meanwhile, Bulan only remembers his name and retained his carefree and naive attitude. He had this occasional vision of a Bakunawa swallowing a moon, so he started telling it to the townspeople, which scared the heck out of them. Bulan enjoyed it, so he did it more often until the people realized it wasn't true. He was then branded as a liar. On one fateful night, Bulan saw the Bakunawa emerging from the lake, soaring to devour the moon. He immediately told the townspeople about it, but no one would believe two, him anymore. One and yeah, second. Parang narinig ko na nga tong bakunawa na to, pero hindi ko maalala yung story. So he went to distract the bakunawa by himself. It started chasing him. As Bulan ran for his life, he crashed upon a pile of cooking pans and fell. As he looked back, the Bakunawa was already retreating to the depths. Bulan made such a loud noise that it woke the villagers so they saw the Bakunawa as it was leaving. That is when they confirmed that it was true. Bulan proceeded to warn them because the Bakunawa might come back anytime soon to consume the moon. The young boy convinced them to fight back and protect the moon as he discovered the Bakunawa's weakness. 
So the whole village prepared and built the biggest weapon to defeat the evil dragon. Mm. When the Bakunawa surfaced again, the people were ready as they rallied together and started making as much noise as possible. However, the Bakunawa still managed to swallow the moon. But not until they ran the biggest gong they ever built. Whoa. The sound destroyed Bakunawa's wings and it inflicted so much pain that it had to spit out the moon. The Bakunawa fell hard into the water and would never be seen again for a long time. Mm. Ulan had no idea that the moon he just saved was actually his twin sister. The legend says that Bakunawa to this day still attempts to swallow the moon once every two and a half years. Ooh. That's when the legend of the blood moon was born. Oh. The explanation behind the moon's red color is the blood from Halia's wounds inflicted by Bakunawa's deadly bite. This scene represents an ancient childhood game called Bulan Bulan. It's just so commendable how Philippe is creatively bringing back Kaya his country's rich book, ancient yeah. culture as it deserves to be remembered for generations to come. In Philippe's universe, the Bakunawa symbolizes the haters. The eclipse represents trials and tribulations. To save the moon from it, Philippe, along with his people, creates music. Music that produces a sound so profound that it sends shockwaves that ignites Halia's burning desire to fight back and cast away this evil being. After all, Halia is us. We are Philippe's Bulan. <laughs> Galing, galing, galing. Grabe yun. Alam mo, ano doktor, nung napanood ko yung, ano yung gong, kasi, ano yan eh, kagabi lang, nanonood ako nung ano, yung expensive, yung pinaka-expensive product sa buong mundo. Isa dun sa napanood ko yung gong sa Thailand. Sobrang expensive. Na tawa lang ako nung makita ko yung ano, parang sakto naman na na, na ilagay yung gong dun. Anyway, Thank you so much, Chuck, for this video. Ngayon, medyo na-refresh yung memory ko. Na, al narinig ko na nga yung story ng ano, ay yung bakunawa na yan. Kaya lang, hindi siya super fresh sa ano ko, sa sa aking memory. Siguro dahil hindi ko rin uh, siguro maintindihan yung story. Kaya hindi tayo nag-focus dun. So, ayun guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Sobrang ganda ng araw natin ngayon. Uh, kagaya nyan, kagabi na ipost ko na yung reaction natin dun sa dito sa bulan. And ngayon, ito na yung reaction natin kay Casual Chuck. At medyo nalinawan na tayo. Sobra. Medyo, tas sobra. Ang gulo ko, diba? <laughs> so, ayun guys. Hope you enjoy the video. And stay happy. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.